A warning tonight about a deadly, high potent heroin strain from Mexico. It's killing an increasing number of people in the Chicago area. CBS 2's Derek Blakely is here to explain the impact on users and on their families. Derek. And already this year, 20 heroin overdose deaths in Lake County. That's double the usual number. And 11 more in Will County. For blaming it on a surge of high purity, low cost heroin, and a grieving father is sounding the alarm. So this is where you found him? Yes. I found him right here. Right there? Yes. Almost two weeks ago, Brian Kirk discovered his 18-year-old son, Matt, dead in the basement of their Homer Glen home. The cause of death? Heroin. Matt. Matt, I kept on calling him. He didn't, he didn't respond, so I, I knelt down and I touched him. And as soon as I touched him, I knew he was, he was already gone. He was, he was ice cold. Another victim of a wave of cheap, highly potent heroin washing over Chicago and finding an increasing number of teen victims in the suburbs. The cost, as little as $5 a hit. There's really nobody out there that can't afford to get high off of heroin when it's equivalent to the price of a six-pack. Despite the drug war on the border, the heroin is flooding in from Mexico. And now it's more pure, making it more powerful and more seductive, no longer requiring needles to get high. Congressman Mark Kirk, no relation to the Homer Glenn family. Suburban kids will not use a needle uh, as their entry drug. Uh, but when heroin comes in pure, it can be snorted and then develops a life of addiction. So do you believe he was snorting or shooting? I think originally he was snorting, probably. Matt Kirk was six weeks away from graduation at Lockport Township. He'd been experimenting with drugs since age 13. But his dad had no idea Matt was using heroin until a few weeks before he died. I used to search my house religiously. I'm talking about search it, bug the house, check his phone, take his phone away from him. Uh, I never in my life saw a needle in this house. But last December, Matt began missing school, complaining about feeling sick, vomiting, all signs of heroin use. Four months later, he was gone. And Brian Kirk doesn't want other parents to experience his grief. I just think a lot of these people really need to wake up. Congressman Kirk wants to send federal dollars to local police near the Mexican border to help fight the drug gangs. But Brian Kirk thinks most parents are blind to the extent of the problem. He says he's discovered several kids who used to play hockey with his son that are using heroin as well. It's a growing plague, Ann. And he had no idea. Well, thank you so much.